All right, how's it going? Welcome to the Eddie Echo Show, Blonde Bullet. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. So I think you, you're the sixth person that we've had in here so far. Yeah. And probably out of all those people, the person that I've known for the least amount of time. Yes. It makes things interesting. So, so we <laughs> met because um, you were shooting a music video with Chaz uh, Mazzato, a good friend of mine. Yeah. And I think he was requesting a hallway and it just ended up that this hallway was what you were looking for. Yeah, I was looking for, yeah, exactly, just running up and down a hallway, and he's like, Mazzotta! <laughs> oh, Chaz, Mazzotta, sorry, he's coming from the other room. <laughs> but um, is it was it a shining type of thing? or? Was yeah, it, well, not, sort of, kind of spooky, vintage spooky is kind of what I was going for. Sort mm. of like a mystery mystery vibe. Okay, so, so what, what was the song that uh, we were just running over? Um, that we were just playing. Yeah. Uh, we were doing Head Down, which um, is a song I wrote with my friend Slice here. Um, and it was during 2020. He, uh, I had met Slice in 2019 um, at the Five Spot. And we started kind of just talking music. And when 2020 hit, we were all quarantined, obviously. And he just reached out and was like, hey, like, let's just write songs. And I was going through a really kind of bad time of writing I couldn't I had all this time and yet like no I don't know mind space to write which really sucks um mm. and so we kind of just the beginning lyrics kind of just came out one by one very slowly which is kind of how the song starts and yeah it just kind of kind of happened so great well, well um Slice was actually explaining the chords to me right just now and I'm gonna <laughs> so thanks for the musicianship I always appreciate that yeah. and uh, let's jump into it so this this song is called Headstrong right uh head down head down head okay. down head or headstrong yeah whatever yeah. either one <laughs> yeah I step, I move every day Word for word I hear, what I pray hey. Step by step we walk in with style hey. Even if it takes me a while I Bow down the father, he would her daddy done taught her. Kneel down to the grindstone, working to make it on her own. Oh, she don't know, no, 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 no. They follow, and she won, she won. wrong I hold on tight yeah nobody tell me how to fight oh, so I hold on and sing my song la 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 bow down Kneel down to the grindstone, working to make it on her own. Oh, she don't know, no, 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 no. They follow, and she won, she won. Head down, head down. Beauty 
a thorny crown Heaven forbid she stop to look around She walk head down yeah. She walk head down Got to end with the nine chord. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> God, man, I love that. Um, so let's jump right into who did you grow up on? What kind of music did you grow up on? Um, okay, so... Because my... I hear a lot of influences there that I could... You do? Okay. Yeah, some Etta James. Ooh, some, maybe oh, some wow. Motown. Yeah. Um, I mean, Motown's and everything. But Amy Winehouse. <laughs> yeah, big time. Um, yeah, my first, um, my first music memory uh for sure is cleaning the house with my mom and listening to um home plate album by bonnie Raitt. um and that album was it was one of those things where i was like i remember i just every time it would come on i didn't care that we were like cleaning or whatever it was like exciting to me that we were gonna like sing these songs um i get really into certain certain like songs of her so yeah, that was my first musical memory, and then kind of kind of went through all sorts of phases, but um, it's kind of, I kind of, yeah, the cliche is like, I always kind of went back to what I grew up on, which was um, influences from like a lot of Elvis, mm. um, a lot of... I hear that too, absolutely. A lot of Cash and a lot of uh, Frank. Okay, so. well, I hear some Tennessee guys <laughs> in there. So you you most recently just moved here from California. Yeah. Um, where are you Probably. from originally, and how did that journey go? And yeah, so um, I moved from um, Palm Springs, California, uh, about a year and a half ago, and um, I am originally from Santa Cruz, California. So I graduated high school, and then moved to Palm Springs, um, and I had a lot of friends that were like, you're moving from the beach to the desert. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And who's out there and what's out there? And I'm like, exactly. Like, that's why I want to be there. I want to I want to sort of heal and create stuff. And there's definitely an oasis myself. there, though, right? For sure. Of artists. And, you know, you think about L.A. and the hustle and bustle. And maybe there's a stereotype of fakeness or this or that. But then I feel like Palm Springs is just like you think like some guy living like a <laughs> trailer home like yeah. or something like that kind of yeah I, like, I personally think about like the grand theft auto video game i remember <laughs> going from like the city and then you go to palm springs and it, like the little i don't know i'm a nerd yeah. so but um no, so what, you're talking what about. made you yeah what made you want to move to nashville from palm springs specifically um so i loved palm springs it was um definitely definitely a cool cool spot um created some stuff kind of figured some stuff out about I don't know what I wanted to do in music and what felt right and what didn't. And, um, and, uh, so yeah, they, I, I was kind of working odd jobs and living, sleeping on my mom's couch for like seven years and trying to figure myself out and, mm. uh, and saved enough money to, um, kind of take a, I, I work Bev cart on a golf course. So, I get okay. the summers off there in Palm Springs because wow. it's way too hot for anyone to do anything other than if you have a pool. Um, so <laughs> crazy hot. I crazy mean, you're hot. talking like Death Valley hot. For sure. It's pretty close, right? Yeah. Mm. At least it's dry most of the time, but we do get a couple. We get August is definitely humid. So, mm. um, but yeah, so uh, I had the off season or whatever, and I saved money in the meantime. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Like, I really want to try out Nashville. I hear great things. Like, I just want to be creative. And was I, there a scene in Palm Springs? There was sort of, um, which I loved because like that's sort of what draw like drew me to it was like the whole Rat Pack vibe and um, I don't know a lot of old um, kind of older energy which I liked mm -hmm. a lot. Some some boomers who were retired and kind of just chilling. <laughs> Total like retire yeah some, exactly maybe like Grateful Dead cover bands and stuff. <laughs> well that's the thing so <laughs> or, like, like the Eagles like yeah. yeah well okay so that's how I got into the whole so. 
um, I was kind of doing my thing, and then I got asked to do an Amy Winehouse tribute band out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, I mean, I'll try, you know, that sounds awesome. Yeah. So um, I learned her stuff, stuff I already knew of hers, and then stuff that I kind of was learning just at the they time. They didn't make you dye your hair, did they? No, so, but, so <laughs> Good. that's the thing, though. So, like, all of a sudden, like, we were practicing and, like, getting ready to, like, do, like, gigs and stuff, and they're like, okay, so we kind of want you to, like impersonate her and i'm like oh you know <laughs> now <laughs> no, we're going no, no. now we're going toward I, vegas with this i can't i'm not an actor <laughs> I like i yeah i'm that not gonna do that because so. music impersonation is one thing but exactly so but it was still a blessing because i was like practicing her stuff and learning some stuff that i hadn't heard of hers and kind of delving into that whole world and i was like wow i did not know you could write songs like mm-hmm. this and so so what was the song that you sent me that um, you have a music video out and i was able to watch it i forget the title oh yeah play, um, so that was the first that was peter right yes exactly peter yeah so i wrote that song when i was um 16 um and yeah so that was like the first official song i like wrote and recorded and uh and i just i still like it so yeah i still kind of are we gonna it. play that one yeah, sure. Okay. You want to do see, it? Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. So Can Peter, you... man, I love songs with uh, specific names. I actually have a song called Stella that's, that's out right now. Oh, but cool. I, lo- I love like, you know, Michelle the Beatles or uh, Roxanne or like I love songs that have names. names. And But was it actually about a guy named Peter? Mm, well, it's It usually sort of... isn't when I ask that question. Like, yeah. It's, it? Well, it's, it's like Peter Pan theme, so... Peter, yeah. So yes, then. So, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I get it. And I get it. <laughs> Are we doing Peter? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Once upon a dream, you woke me in the deep of a night. You crept into my heart, and it was young love at first sight. You say, come with me, and you'll never have to think again. And that's how you and I would be in Never Never Land. Da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da 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 dum. You taught me how to fly when I was so afraid to fall. I hardly recognize your shadow on my bedroom wall. We stayed and played and never changed. Always hear them lost boys cry. Love's enough to remind them all the memories passed them by. But our time is running out. I'm too hard to figure out. I love you till the very end. Please always be my friend. Sit and run away if statement live another lie. I told you I would rather die than wear my daddy's tie. The moon is full and hook is near, jealous thieves are at our back. Please let me use my wings before you have to take me back. But our time is running out and I'm too hard to figure out. I love you till the very end. Please always be my friend. So when you see a shooting star, smell breeze run through your hair. I want to let you know it's me, yeah, me, I'm always there. So goodbye, my child, goodbye, my love, goodbye to all I knew. I have 
to go and I have to grow and baby so do you I have to go and I have to grow and baby so do you All right. Thank you so much guys. That was <laughs> Thank you. It's great. It's great. So, okay, now this time I was able to listen to lyrics because when you sent it to me, I was kind of just like, <laughs> yeah, like, I was on the go and I just was, and stuff. I was all listening to the chords, like, okay, how do I, but now, yeah, okay, so growing older, man. Yeah. You know, Nashville is a town of Peter Pans. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, people, I feel like there's a lot of guys, or like anyone, not I'm saying guys, but like people in their 50s who are just, just getting out here and like, rocking and like living their dreams and like you go to broadway and you see these guys and it's like wow yeah never grow up yeah you know yeah i wrote it about um a boyfriend i had at the time um that just we were kind of yeah we were 16 so um but uh yeah it kind of is one of those songs where it kind of like just sort of worked its way through other other themes so through my life so i still kind of love singing it so some double meaning. Double meaning. Yeah. Deep. Who wrote Peter Pan? Does anyone know that? Oh, I don't oh, know. Uh, what was the stage play? Oh, Slice. Yeah. yeah, this guy. Yeah. So, like, I ask him any music questions. I call him, like, a music encyclopedia. He knows, like, so much. It's so ridiculous. you guys met at the five spot? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. But. I love it. Um, so what do you have coming up, Blonde Bullet? Um, I've got... <clears throat> couple of things lined up but for the most part um yeah I'm kind of on this uh hiatus from my job as Bevcart right now so I'm kind of focusing all in on music and um treating it like like a job um, are, are so you getting out and playing as well I'm just starting to okay, so I'm kind of just like building building stuff so I don't have anything like well I think it goes in phases and I, I've been in Nashville for a little over four years and I'm also an artist myself I don't think right. we've like got we haven't even gotten to talk too much but a little bit yeah, yeah I um I moved here from New York City lived there for years but getting here I played like a lot of shows the first year and a half like over a hundred as many um open mics and writers rounds and all those things and I love that part of Nashville because it's like flexing a muscle yeah. but then I also think that there's another part of music which is the work that you do behind the scenes that you know it goes in waves because a lot of the the, the, the work quote-unquote in music has mm -hmm. nothing to actually do with music mm -hmm. you know what I mean and right. the videos and the promotion and yep. um, but I think it goes in waves but one thing that's amazing about Nashville is that there are opportunities where you can just get out pretty much any night of the week and even if you're getting paid or not I mean preferably you are but just to be able to get up in front of people and do that here is like you can do it any night yeah any night of the week if it once you you know meet the right people and this and that but I feel like maybe in Palm Springs it may happen twice a month exactly you know so or, or normal places and and it's like it's that's so so that's why we come here to Nashville specifically yep. um yeah, to be around like-minded people and uh, to totally. discover this community. So that's why I'm trying to put a spotlight on here. Yeah. And well, you are amazing. Thank this you. show is not sponsored by anyone because we do not have any sponsors yet. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys for coming in here as I'm kind of getting this off the ground. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. And, yeah. So uh, do you have anything you want to promote? or? I mean, I've got some stuff coming out. Um, I Like a couple songs that um, I plan to release in the next couple months. So, um yeah, I'll definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. And um, and where yeah. can everyone find you on? Oh, that's uh, right. Um, so um, Instagram, uh, I'm underscore blonde bullet, um, and you can find me on Spotify and Apple Music and all that good stuff under blonde bullet, um, my nickname or stage name or whatever. <laughs> so that's yeah. Amazing. And <laughs> right now you can find her on the Eddie Echo Show. So let's close it out with one more song. Okay. Cool. Yeah. This um. This is a song that is one that's going to be released in the next couple months. So, um, yeah, Dreams Are Chasing Me. Yeah. Oh, body do, won't you have a drink or two? Oh, body do, dobby 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 dow. Oh, what you don't know about me, yeah. 
What you see and what I see, yeah. People always ask why I went away. Why I'm fucking tired at the start of the day. People chase the dreams. My dreams are chasing me. They're chasing me. You, you chasing me. You, you chasing me. Chasing me, yeah. Oh, body, won't you have a drink with me? Oh, body, won't you have a drink with me? Ever think the stars somehow on the line? Against all reasons, some of your love found mine. Lovers in the chariot. So I'm gonna make it how I want to chase your dreams. My dreams are chasing me, they're chasing me. Yeah, yeah, you're chasing me. Yeah, yeah, chasing me. Chasing me, wow, wow, whoa, here we go. Chasing me, dreams are chasing, dreams are chasing, dreams are chasing me. All right, <laughs> killed it. Thanks again for coming, guys. Thank yeah. you, Slice, and thank you, Blonde Bullet. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, we're thrilled to have you, and I want to get you back again once we really get this rolling. Yeah. Trying to do as many as possible. So. Ugh, get my nerves out. I know, right? Ugh. It feels nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching The Eddie Echo Show. Thank you so much. See you much. next time.